Hello everyone, you are watching the, another episode of Uzbek Tales and as usual I'm your host Bigeli Matov. Guys, here we are again in Tashkent Polytechnic Museum. They invited us and we came here. Why? I'll tell you now. Let's go. Guys, this is the Tashkent Polytechnic Museum, one of the youngest museums in Tashkent and there is a lot of, lot of cars. I show you already before, if you remember, see a lot of cars here. Some of them are already, I show you in the previous episode, but guys, here they brought new, new cars from the private collection. And one of the best thing is, there is, I think like nine or 10 different retro vintage cars, and they are all for sale. Let's go. Let's start from this car, Opel Super 6, wow! This private collector, he wants to sell this car. If you got money, guys, you can, you can buy it, see? They are in a good condition. See, it's written here. Wow, wow, wow. So, Opel Super 6 is an exclusive car built by the German car manufacturer Opel between 1937 and 1938, wow. So car was equipped with a 2.5 liter straight six engine and had a top speed of 115 km per hour. It was available in three different versions, four door sedan, this one, I think, yeah. Two door coupe and a two door cabriolet. Oh, nice. And engine produced like 55, 55 power horses, I think, yeah. So it was produced like more than 46 cars, 46,000 cars, yeah. This is the beautiful Opel 6. Let's see another one. This is Pobeda M20, wow. Just look at this, Pobeda. This is the from the collection of the automobile enthusiast Nuruddin Tohta Muradov. See, so Nuruddin Tohta Muradov is the owner of this car. Pabeda, this car actually produced uh, from 1946 to 1958 in three series. So two Pabeda M20 cars are presented here and they are all belong to second series, I think. So since October 1950. Nice. See? Wow. Good. And let's go to see another car. This is Zim M22. Wow. Nice. Just look at this. This is the retro car, guys. So, this is okay. We call it like Zim. It's like a Chaika, I think. Nice. Also from the private collection. Yep. It preserved in a very good condition. Yes. And this is the one. Okay. Gas 67. Nice. Gas 67. Exciting military car, yes. Military car. Wow, let's look at inside. Nice. Okay. See, so, yeah. People sit here like this. <laughs> okay. Four. Four people they can sit here. Now I'll show you another car. Another car is here. This is also wow. I, let's see which car is that. This is the one. AMV 340. Okay, I think this was for the museum. Yep. This is okay, guys. See the two cars, same cars. 
Volga Gas 21 and the Gas 21. So this is from the private collection. This was a very famous car. Okay, let's see. So this car is Volga Gas 21. It's a Soviet passenger car produced in mass series from 1956 to 1970. And 21st was a real era car and symbol of its time. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a very famous car on that time. Uh, Volga can be seen in nearly like 200 movies and the first among them is watch out for the automobile you know it was a famous movie and it has like 53 different modifications can you believe that wow so uh, now total they produced I think like more than 600,000 Good, so from 1969 they start to produce and it's a sedan, 4 cylinder, 2445 cubic centimeter and maximum speed 120 km per hour. Nice, see, let's see, wow, yep, yep. I remember these cars when I was a kid. There was a lot of a lot of cars like this. Now they are uh, retro cars now. They are in the museum. Wow. I I remember my my childhood. Okay. <laughs> So nice, nice. Now I'll show you guys another car. Okay, it's here. It's a military car, guys. Military car. Whoa. This is the one. See, nice. It's a gas 69. Gas 69, wow, 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 wow. So, Gas 69 is also from the collection, private collection. And this is Soviet old touring vehicle. It was produced from 1952. From 1952 till 1973. It was produced by Gorky Automobile Plant, okay? So, more than 56 countries there used that car at that time. It was a very famous car. More than 600,000 cars were produced. Yep, it's a military car it was. Wow. See. Nice. Okay, it has a plate number also even. <laughs> yep plate number means wow it means it's registered wow officially very good so this is the famous gas 69 wow let's see another one another one is this one wow just look Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> this kind of cars you can see in the movies only now. And if you got the money, yep, you can buy it from this museum. Okay. It has a trailer also, see? Nice trailer also kept in very good condition. Good. Wow, so let's see, nice, good, Whoa. <laughs> so it was also like a military version, but they use it in a different ways, so I show you one, two, Okay, 
three, four. Okay, yeah, this is the last one, I think. This is the Opel P4. Opel P4. This is the one, guys. Nice, see the black car. It's Opel P4. Can you guess which year it was? It was year of manufacture, 1937, guys. 1937, small German car manufactured by Opel. It was produced from September 1935 to December 1937, just two years, at the plant in Russellsheim. Only 65,000 units were produced in total. It was based on Opel 1.2 liter, but slightly changed externally and internally. After two years production, it was replaced by Opel Kadett. Yeah, see, wow, it's a very rare car actually right now. So guys, this is the thing. Right now it's in the, here in Tashkent Polytechnic Museum. If you like the cars, if your kid like the cars, same like my son is sitting just over here, you see, I told him just sit here, I brought him to the museum, so he likes it. If you like the retro cars also, just come to this museum to see the new, new, different cars from the private collection, okay, and as I said, if you got the money, one of these cars might be yours. You can buy it. Nice. Very good. So guys, I think this is okay. This is one I'm not sure right now. I think they're making some new exponent here. So guys, that's it. It's a very small, it will be small review, okay. And to see these cars, just visit. Just visit Tashkent Polytechnic Museum. Yeah, it's open almost every day. I think their, their day off is only Monday. Other days you can come, you can see all of them here. So guys, what can I say? I'll tell you one thing. Okay, let's, let's, let's say bye-bye from here. So guys, at the end, I would like to invite you to Tashkent Polytechnic Museum, the first private collection of the private cars, retro cars for sale. If you like this video, just thumbs up, share this video with everyone. And if you got money, maybe one of these cars might be yours. Bye bye.